I'm going to be the director for Ruddy Gore. I'm Russell. I'm uh, the musical director. I've just played the Pirate King in Pirates of Penzance. I have a long history of performing in Gilbert and Sullivan. My grandparents took me to see the gondoliers when I was nine years old and I was hooked. And it was always my dream to sort of perform Gilbert and Sullivan and be part of the Doily Cart Opera Company. So when they were auditioning, when I'd left college, I auditioned for the new Doily Cart Opera Company. And then I spent the next three years touring with the company. So I'm hoping that I can bring my experience and enthusiasm to this production. Uh, I'm like Richard, I'm an opera singer myself and got run over by Covid so that isn't really happening now. My energies are to try and make something very special down here. So Ruddy Gore is a Victorian melodrama. It tells the story of the curse on the Murgatroyd family that was laid by a witch who was burned at the stake years ago and the curse is that whoever is in possession of the Murgatroyd title must commit a crime a day, otherwise he perishes in tormented agonies. Well, the music in this piece does appear to have various strands and strains that run throughout. One of the characters, for instance, is a, a sailor, and he dances a hornpipe, sings a hornpipe, and there is a sort of hornpipe theme running through, which repeats. Also, as we've said, that there is a gothic element to this. So the second half begins deep in the castle with ghosts and other things, and the music um, very much reflects that. And so quite a variety of, of, of styles. Bags and bags for people to get their teeth into, both soloists, but also chorus. The villagers, the, the bridesmaids, the men, the, the ghosts. So you've got that contrast of dark, rich chords creating ghostly elements, but also very whizzy, fast patter songs, dances, and a lot of wit and huge amount of fun and a lot of silliness. Diction and dialogue are going mm. to be really, really important and integral to this production. Absolutely. I think it's, I think it's a great introduction to musical theatre because uh, it requires all elements of singing, acting and dance for someone who maybe has just left college or university and wants to gain experience in those disciplines, this is the ideal piece. Yeah, also to emphasise the idea of musical theatre, because at the mm. time, and we had throughout Europe and everywhere, operetta, which was actually yeah. a halfway house in some ways between theatre and opera. So there's a lot of opportunity for mm. singing actors, actor-singers. Mm. Gilbert and Sullivan, above all, is pastiche. It was written for the Savoy theatres, where they were taking the mickey out of the world at the time. But above all, it's... A uh, huge, huge fun, isn't it? That's absolutely a really important. Yes, yeah, it's important to realise that Gilbert and Sullivan didn't write for the best singers of the day. No. He wrote for actors who could put songs yeah. across, and that's what we'll be looking for as well. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you haven't got the world's greatest operatic voice. That's not what we're looking for. And we're here to help you get yes. the best out of yourselves to actually take part in it. Yes. Yeah. So having been involved uh, for a number of years now with the, the, the society, um, the one thing that I've found that it is it, it has a really strong sense of community and people become real friends. I mean, I came into the production of Pirates Penzance quite late on and yet immediately was very welcomed with open arms. And, uh, I had a great experience. So we'd love you all to come along to the launch evening, which is going to be on Monday the 13th of December at uh, St Barnabas Church Hall and details can be found on our website. Yeah, nice informal introduction yes, to absolutely. it where we all get to meet each other. We hope to see you there. Did that sound creepy? It did. <laughs> <laughs> so try to be nice. <laughs>